Brooks Kepka has withdrawn from the upcoming President's Cup due to his knee injury. Kepka suffered the injury last month in the CJ Cup at Nine Bridges and informed Captain Tiger Woods of his decision. Kepka had this to say. They notified Captain Tiger Woods that despite constant medical care and rehab, I'm not able to play golf at this time. I consider it to be a high honor to be part of the 2019 team, and I regret not being able to compete. I'm sorry I won't be able to represent the red, white, and blue this time around, and I wish my teammates nothing but the best as they work to retain the President's Cup for the USA. Well, the official President's Cup handle had this to say, wishing Brooks Kepka a speedy recovery. Captain Woods names Ricky Fowler, the newest member of the U.S. team that'll tee it up in Melbourne in three weeks. Ricky Fowler responded with this, when I heard Brooks wasn't going to be ready to play, I was bummed for him and the team. Then I got the call from both Brooks and Tiger. I was humbled and excited to be given the chance. It is impossible to replace the world number one. But I can assure my teammates, the American golf fans, that I will be prepared and ready to do my part to bring home the President's Cup. So now this is what the 2019 United States team at the President's Cup will look like. And some people involved with the team are teeing it up this week at the RSM Classic. Our Rex Hoggard spoke to them about this. Number one player in the world on your team and he can't play that's there's nothing positive about that it's an injury nothing positive about that uh but as tiger has kind of told us um and he's i know he's talked to brooks and said the same thing he's got to be thinking long term uh for the betterment of himself certainly but then also because he's got a lot of golf in front of him and more teams to play on so it'd be foolish if 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 it's a you know a coin flip to even try so um i applaud him for you know Brooks for at least uh, taking the initiative to to sit out, and I know he phoned most of those players of the team, which is admirable. Um, it's just unfortunate. Ricky loves the stage, you know, a lot like a Phil Mickelson or um, yeah, now hanging around Kevin Kisner. Some there's some guys that like to walk out on the final green and make that putt. They want the ball with with no time on the clock, and Ricky's that guy. And um, you know, I know he hasn't been playing that much. But Ricky in the team room, Ricky as a partner, um, look, guess who took him? <laughs> Phil Mickelson's like, I want Ricky, you know? Um, Ricky's a guy you want on your side. And I think, uh, you know, it's unfortunate for Brooks. You heard from them. Now let's hear from Tiger Woods, who had this statement released. Ricky has played on a couple of President's Cup teams, was someone seriously considered for a pick, and is well-respected and liked by his teammates. I know he's going to do a great job for us. We welcome in the guys on set tonight, Trip Eisenhower, John Rollins, and Tim Rosefort. And yesterday, guys, we were talking about the possibility of Brendan Todd filling in if there were an opening. Now, we know there's a swap. We know Ricky Fowler is in. But let's first get your thoughts on Brooks Kepka not playing this year. Well, I think what Zach Johnson said is right, and I'm sure that Tiger and Brooks had that conversation, is like, look, you know, he's got to think long term here. He could have tried to push it and maybe do it, but then he might not have been ready. His game wouldn't have been ready. I mean, there's all of that aspects as well in, in the timing of it. We certainly, uh, this is not a surprise, John. I mean, I think many of us were speculating that with the timing of Brooks's surgery, would he be able to be ready to compete? He might be ready as far as physically hitting balls and things, but then he hadn't played in so long he wouldn't he we would let his team down so sure it's disappointing to lose world number one but I think there are other aspects to Brooks is thinking 2020 a absolutely I mean he, he's got to think can he contribute to the team as you said I mean he's the number one player in the world so surely even even injured he could probably help because he's yeah. the best player in the game but at the same time I mean he just he's got to look down the road as you heard Zach say he's going to be on many more teams yeah. down the road yeah. and he's going to be a fixture on the U.S. team Ryder Cup and President's Cup and for Brooks Kepka, if he doesn't feel like he can really contribute the way he wants to he's doing the right thing step aside let somebody help the team the best way they can. Yeah this is far more reaching than a President's Cup if you look at it it's it's an open championship it's a Ryder Cup it's it's uh, it's just the idea of, of wanting to go out and, and you can't gut it out with injuries like this. There's yeah. an old saying about nobody came back too late. Well, this could certainly affect Kepka going forward as it relates especially to how hard he works, not only in the, in the, in the workout room, 
but on the golf course as well. And he doesn't want to leave it out there. He's not happy about it. Uh, you know, he wanted to play with Tiger, loves representing his country, but he's doing a smart thing this yeah. time. Yeah, it's better to play it safe than be sorry, like you said, and never come back to late. Uh, but let's talk about Ricky Fowler. We all suspected, we were talking about this yesterday, the possibility of him being on the team. Uh, we heard what Tiger Woods had to say about him being considered one of the original four picks. Are you happy? Are you having concerns? Or all things considered, the, the you're only, comfortable. Yeah, the only concern I would have about Ricky it would be his form just because he hadn't played. I, I, you know, he hadn't played a lot of golf. But, he hasn't played since the Tour but Championship. The, but the intangibles were honest? there. I actually thought that that um, Ricky Fowler would have been picked over Patrick Reed. I really did. I thought uh, just because of what he brings as far as chemistry, what he brings as a partner, all the things that Davis Love said, Ricky brings. He loves the moment. He wants the ball at the end. Ricky will be ready. Ricky's going to be a great teammate. He's going to be a great um, – you know, person in the team room. He's going to do all those things. There's no question about it that Ricky Fowler has the experience and the chemistry and all those things that go into making a winning team. He's been on winning teams. He's been on losing teams, but uh, he certainly hadn't been on losing President's Cup teams. So a valuable addition and an obvious pick. I mean, I, I don't think anyone's surprised. The the only other person that you might think would be Brendan Todd for what he's done or maybe Kevin Na for what he's done recently. But Ricky Fowler, I don't think anybody sitting here is uh, scratching their head going, why would you choose Ricky Fowler? Yeah, no, I, I mean, he was 11th on the on the point. Sure. So, I mean, he, as you said, he was the only guy that was overlooked uh, in Captain Woods' picks. And, I mean, Ricky Fowler, as you said, Tripp, I mean, you, you echo all of that. The team room, what he brings to the team room, everybody wants to play with Ricky Fowler. He will play with anybody. He is going to give everything, and, and he's going to leave it on the golf course. So I just think that, uh, I mean, he's 3-0-1 last time in 2017. Yeah. Justin Thomas, he and Justin Thomas went two and a half points, so they could have that team yeah. back together. Dynamic duo. Rose? you got to go high road, but there's some people, I'm sure, that are scratching their heads right now wondering. <laughs> but, you know, this is this is the way it plays, and it's hard to argue with Ricky in, in, in many respects. But, you know, the U.S. Am, the US match play, WGC champion, Kevin Kisner is not going to be on that plane. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, there's a few names in the mix, but one of the things on our radar right now are these knee injuries, and Dustin Johnson is another guy that we might be scratching our heads thinking, is he another question mark? Did you learn some new information, Rosie? A little bit. had uh, arthroscopic on September 5th uh, for some cartilage issues. Uh, he is back and practicing again. He's getting ready for the member member out at the Floridian this weekend. Uh, he's hitting some balls. He is... Um, um, Trying to get back, uh, hasn't played since the Tour Championship, sorry. He was out over the weekend, he's practices Michael Jordan's place, he's a member down there now called the Grove. Uh, he's, um, you know, he's, he's like a lot of guys in that situation, he's been out a long time, he wants to come back and is scheduled to come back for the Hero, which is only a couple of weeks away. Only a couple of weeks and that's the precursor to the President's Cup just around the corner.